All righty, folks. Good evening, everyone. I know I'm uh, like about a couple minutes early, so we'll do introductions here in a few moments. I just want to make sure everybody hey, here can go ahead. Okay, I had to mute my YouTube side. <laughs> All righty, there we go. Uh, get that up and running. Okay, that has now started. Let me get that turned down here so I can at least read everything on here. Oh, let me turn down my phone. All righty. Okay, everything has started now. Good evening, everybody. My name is Jason. I'm with Pest Hunter Outdoors. This is my partner for tonight. Over here is Mr. Colin Kincaid Outdoors. And uh, tonight's episode, we're going to go ahead. We're going to talk about the Q and A on um, methods of uh, vermin control. We're going to talk about uh, the poisons versus the traps versus other methods, which will be more like um, mechanical or other types besides all three of those. So we're going to start that here in a little bit. Once uh, a lot of people start showing up and watching uh, the live stream, I see that we have uh, six people on board right now. Number J just entered. Yeah, so like I said, whoever's in the chat, go ahead, uh, say hello. Hi, Chopper J. How you doing today? So I figured uh, if everybody go ahead, um, post something in the chat so I know everybody's here. It's not a robot. I'm trying to sneak in. And uh, let's see. Let me take care of that here real quick here, Mr. Trapper J. PA Trapping. Hi, PA. How you doing? And let's see. Do that one there. And... I'm going to do that one there. Okay. All righty. So now I've also made two more moderators for tonight's evening. And I was just wondering how everybody was doing out there today. I hope everybody had a very good day tonight. Yeah, like I said, I do have some examples I'm going to be posting tonight on the live. And where you can actually go and get some of the equipment. So we're going to go over basically all the pros and cons of these uh, methods of vermin control. Some of them are actually quite fun and harvestable with certain methods. And remember, we're talking everything from, you know, from mice all the way up to squirrel, groundhog, you know, rabbits. Even a deer can be considered a pest uh, if it's uh, damaging crops and you actually get a permit through your um, Department of uh, Wildlife Resources. So in your case, in your area, hogs would be considered that. Oh, yes. Hogs are definitely pests. Those are uh, removed on site if possible. Yeah, we have a few, nice down here. Have a few things in, in, in Iowa we could do that with. Yeah. Actually, here in Texas, uh, you do not have to have a hunting license to hunt hog as long as you are on a private land that you have permission on. Okay. I'm still saying we need to come down and do some hog hunting. Yeah, oh, I know. Right now, I'm still trying to um, obtain a couple of permissions where I can actually go on. I might have some coming up here soon. I'm hoping uh, through a couple of the uh, friends through work. Uh, like I said, they, there's just not enough people to actually remove the hogs. They're just reproducing so fast. It's unbelievable. Can you imagine the amount of bacon you could get? Actually, it all depends on the size of the hog. Like I said, most of them you want to harvest for cooking is you want anywhere in between uh, 40 to 80 pounds. Anything bigger than that, you probably don't want to mess with. You know, none of that, you also got to make sure that uh, it was healthy when you when you harvested it uh, and everything else as well. So, right. you know, you got you to gotta, you gotta check for, you know, um, if it had a uh, broken bones in the past or um, lesions or anything else. Check for for pests on them. Yeah, check for. Um, like I said I've I've heard of uh, maggots, worms, all kinds of stuff. So, so yeah. yeah, you do have to check. You know, it, it is it is a wild animal. There is no veterinarian out there to take care of it before it is harvested through um, the USDA uh, guidelines. Right. Yes. So, I so said a lot of people don't really understand how or where their food actually comes from, believe it or not. They think it just comes out of the back store or the back store room of the, uh, the grocery store of where it is uh, produced for them to consume. 
they don't realize it has to be trucked sometimes half a country to get to their plate. That by, by local folks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, by local if all possible. I know. I know a lot of stuff is not going to be local. You know, it does have to be long distance to come in. Uh, you mean when I, I buy it. lobster, I have to wait for it to get trucked in? Dang. Oh yes, unfortunately yes. <laughs> not that I would eat lobster. If I want to get mm -hmm. something, I can go get crawdads. We can do that. Well, the problem is, I, I don't think you can eat those. Can you? Crawdads? Yeah, crayfish. Oh, okay, okay. I they thought you couldn't have. Uh, I thought that you couldn't have shellfish. No, no, I'm not um, allergic to shellfish. Oh, okay, I know you can't have uh, mushrooms or, or nuts. Uh, nuts. Yeah. I can eat. I can oh. eat. Uh, I love crabs. Not bad. It's just chewy. Yeah. All righty. Okay, so I see we have eight people here. He harvested a couple hundred pounders. They said they taste. Oh yeah. Food. Oh yes. But when they get a little bit smaller, they're easier to. To, to manage more tender? quarter out say again they're more tender uh yes the small ones are going to be a little bit more tender yes um like i said uh mr chopper j if you wanted to go ahead and join the live you can oh by the way i did upgrade uh my uh stream yard today Congrats. yay yes now we gotta get you a little logo and you'll be good to go yes Oh, okay. He shot him in uh, Oklahoma there. Hey, yeah. oh, they're, they're, me, they're me, everywhere. Me, There's me, even sure. rumors of seeing wild hog here, here in Iowa. Yeah. Southeastern <clears throat> Iowa, I believe. I just have to do mm. some research. Oh, oh, it's a matter of time before they get up there. Believe me, they're they're pretty hardy creatures. Uh, they Everybody says, oh, they can't handle the cold. They can't do that. Uh, oh, I'm calling BS on that one. I'm calling BS. No, it's I I, I wouldn't be surprised um you know if some of the uh um hogs up in uh, Canada have escaped um oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, from from a uh, from a from, from a ranch or from a um um a place where they're uh bred and raised for food. They've escaped and they're in the wild. I would not I've be surprised. Rumors, I've heard rumors about them being in Canada. Yeah, uh, but unless it's rumors, I don't have any confirmation that they're there. But yet I'm again, that, that is, again, it's a pest. Right. <clears throat> Anything that is a, um, a uh, innovative, or excuse me, uh, invasive species is going to be considered a pest. Uh, for instance, we got uh, people down in Florida are dealing with, uh, excuse me, and then they got the dealing with the pythons, the iwanas, the um, the other uh, monitor lizard now that's uh, that's out now in northeast Florida and actually in uh, Georgia, from what I understand. And of course, Asian you got the uh, huh? Asian carp. Oh yes, Asian carp. Yes. Um, and and again, there's um, um there's the collar doves. Okay. Or the Eurasian collar doves is basically what they're colored. It looks like just like a morning dove, except for it has a black collar around its neck. Huh. Never heard of those. But mm -hmm. they're not here in Iowa, I'm assuming. Oh, they're all over the U.S. Oh, I have to look. They've been here, they've been here for years. Okay. Um, like I said, uh, believe it or not, the um, the little blackbird, oh, what's it called? The starlings. Um, the house sparrows. Those are an invasive species. Okay, the zebra mussels. Cliff, yes. is, is the zebra mussels. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking at biological species right now. Yes. Poison ivy is an invasive species. Hi, Cliff. Yes, Cliff. We know they're all over. Hogs are all over the uh, eastern, southeastern, all the way through the Midwest. I would not be surprised if they're up in, uh, in um, getting close towards um, oh. probably Where uh, like Kentucky. Jay, from Red Oak. Say again. Oh, Trapper J is from Southwest Iowa. Yeah. Sorry. He's a fellow Iowan. I got to find out where in Southwest Iowa he's from because Jenny's from Red Oak. <laughs> he, hey, we're, hey, that makes his family. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me turn up my, uh, my headphones here. 
There we go. Hey, Tina, how you doing? Ladybugs are uh, Chinese, uh, what are they called? The Chinese uh, ladybugs, whatever they are. Yes, yes, that is a beetle. Yes, that is an invasive species. It looks just like it. it's real close. Oh. It'll actually have a little bit more of a yellowish color to it. Like I said, my specialty when I was doing pest control was That's not insects. Okay. My specialty was vermin. Uh, you're just uh, uh, west of Jenny where she grew up in uh, Red Oak. So, yay! He said he's been at Red Oak many times. That's cool. Way to go. Oh, this is Jenny, yeah, like said, by the way. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Like I said, I did put out the, uh, the link, so if anybody wants to join the chat, and have had uh, pest uh, experiences, and you know, uh, in their own backyard, uh, I will go over a couple of things to kind of help with all that. A couple of good ideas. Um, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, uh, some of you have seen some of my uh, my latest um, stuff on Instagram. I probably won't show it on YouTube. Uh, I don't feel comfortable enough showing that on YouTube yet. Uh, so, yeah, um, it's going to be more towards Instagram when I do a lot of my pest control stuff there. But I will show how to set up here, what to do, and how to do it. And help you guys with what not to do and give you guys advice on um, the... You gotta, always got to remember, the label is law, guys. There are some laws out there depending on what state, city... Or county you are in, so you got to be real careful on some of the stuff that you use. So uh, I was kind of hoping we'd have uh, several more people in here by now, so I can actually go ahead and uh, get going with the different uh, types of stuff. So uh, let's, let me get this here cleared up here. Okay, let me get my notepad and pen here. Oh, okay. That was from Tyler there. Oh, we have one uh, invasive uh, bug species that we we are fighting right now, and that's the emerald yeah. ash borer. Yeah, that's okay, hey, honey. I'll, I'll 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 get it here soon. So I so far I have gotten um, four out of five confirmed out of my shop so far in the last past four days. And I'll go over on that method on what I did there. Uh, first of all, we're going to go ahead. We're going to uh, do the uh, poisons. Uh, we're going to do the uh, the pros and cons of that. It's not going to be very long. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of cons with uh, using poisons compared to the benefits, but there are some benefits in certain cases. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and start with the uh, with with the benefits of it is if you have a very bad infestation, you might not have a choice, but to use this. However, there are some ways to help kind of control it. So they are not dying inside your walls, crawl spaces, attic, um, of, of your home. Uh, it's, it's unavoidable. There's nothing you can do about it, but you can minimize it by putting out a, um, a bucket of water with a ramp going up into there. Um, it doesn't have to be very deep because they're going to be so lethargic uh, that they won't even be able to get out of the water. So they're actually going to be looking for water uh, when you're using the poisons because the main poison that they actually use is warfin, which is basically a uh, blood thinner. And they have it in such um, concentrate. It's very high doses. They only have to eat uh, just a few grams. Of that, uh, like I said, that's gonna be like your um, the most common that everybody will use off the shelf is gonna be uh, decon. It will not be in high levels like the controlled substances like I used to use, because um, that would be from like uh, Bell Industries. We'd have the little blocks, uh, and that actually had to be in a container that only the rodent can enter in to get to it. You can't <clears throat> have it out in the open. It has to be in an enclosed uh, container where they can get, get in and out. Unfortunately, I was not able to reach one of my boxes to use it for a, uh, a, uh, a demo. But uh, basically, 
Um, I do have the cardboard one here, right here. This is the one that you can actually get online. You can get through most of your uh, pest control areas that can actually sell on, on you know, online or in a um, um, a store that you can actually uh, go through a storefront. Uh, like I said, you can actually make your own, believe it or not, out of tissue boxes. And where did I have that other one? The other one's right here. I've made this one in the past. This one works very, very well. I got several traps in here. I actually prefer these settable traps here. Okay. But we'll go over that in a few minutes. But I was just showing that um, we got the big plastic boxes. You'll see these plastic boxes on the outside of uh, grocery stores, fast food uh, um, restaurants, most uh, of the... Your, uh, industry where you have um, grocery stores that kind of stuff they'll actually have a hard plastic box it's going to be probably about that big that big and about that tall some of them may be a little bit shorter uh some of them are actually disguised look like rocks so it kind of blends in with the landscape um to me it doesn't and that's what you see there is they'll actually put in uh a bait in there is that uh, like more of the time it's going to be a warfin. They do have some other toxins, but when the target animal actually eats the bait, it actually thins out their blood and it makes them thirsty and they're on the search for water. It makes them very, very lethargic. So they're, you know, they, they have to have the water. They're bleeding internally. They just don't know it. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes it does take up to 24 hours for them to expire. But if you can get them to come to a uh, a source of water, fall in the bucket, you can kind of control their numbers on um, cleaning them up. And also, oh, I forgot this is over there. Uh, if you notice those little lawn pickers, the clackers, the uh, grabbers that you have to squeeze the handle on, it's got the little su uh, suction cups on the end. Um, I recommend getting one of those so you don't have to touch the animal. You won't have to buy the gloves. You just reach in there, pick it up, bag it, and put it in the trash as soon as you see them. Okay? Even if they're still alive, put it in a bag, but be careful, and put it in the trash. And now, uh, with that being said, there are going to be times where you will get a secondary kill. That is somebody's pet, <laughs> um, a feral cat, a cat pet, or um, a pet cat. Same thing with a the dog. They actually consume that target animal that you are trying to get rid of. They themselves are now poisoned with the warfin, and then they they can actually die. Yeah, Timmy says it's not a blood thinner, but an anticoagulant. Yeah, it's it's still it's a blood thinner, an anticoagulant. Yeah, it keeps the blood from clotting. They bleed internally. Um, they get lethargic. Uh, they can't think straight. That's why you'll see them kind of walking sideways, falling over when they're walking. Um, like they'll they're splat, drunk. try to cool off. Yeah, they, they look like they're drunk. But no, it's uh, they're on their way out. Uh, it's done the job. They're looking for water. They're thirsty. And that's how you can get them to go in the bucket. And when it comes down to, you know, when that happens and you have a um, the rare hawk as we might call it um i'm just using it as an example well it can swoop down consume that animal and then itself can perish and guess what you are now liable even if it is for um somebody's pet animal that ate that animal that you were targeting you are now liable because that was not contained hi amanda how you doing so yeah and it is a and if you can catch it in time with your pet animals um a lot of times you will not catch it in time uh that uh you, your pet will uh not be as the pet you knew it before it will have a uh long-term complications you'll always be going in and out of the uh, veterinary office doing um you know blood transfusions uh and uh, all kinds of stuff. It is just, it's just super expensive. 
and it's happened so many, many, many times. That's one of the reasons why I don't like using the poisons. I mean, yes, there is a um, there is a use for them, but it has to be in such a controlled space. It's it's really, really uh, tough and difficult. And that's up to the technician of how that's going to be carried out along with a homeowner. Like I said, I didn't deal with homes. I dealt with public, um, like on uh, like on uh, city property. That was my domain was right there. I had to take care of uh, gophers, um, squirrels, mice, rats, all those guys there. <clears throat> yes, I'm drinking my, we are drinking our coffee now. Uh, who else is in here? Yeah, if you're in, in here, go ahead and leave a message. Does anybody pops in and out? Leave a message, please. Hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithms, please. And if you like it, go ahead and uh, like, share, and subscribe, please. Right, like I said, uh, a lot of times people will actually purchase stuff like at a uh, big box store. I'm not going to name any any stores. <laughs> uh, they just open the container and drop it right there. They're not wearing gloves. They're not wearing their PPEs. They're putting them in the wrong location. Uh, they don't quite know that they can actually harm their pets. Or uh, neighbors. And like, well, yes, or even the neighbors' pets, but. Guys, gotta remember the the label is the law. That was one thing that was pushed upon us, uh, pest control technician. Is the label is the law. Okay, some stuff will be allowed in some states, but not others. Alrighty, now that's the poisons out of the way. We're gonna go to traps. There are so many different traps out there. It is ridiculous. Uh, they've been making mouse traps since time began. <laughs> uh, like I said, uh, if anybody knows, um, oh shoot, uh, Mousetrap Mondays with, um, oh, what's his, his name? Um, he d you just, just type in, uh, Mousetrap Monday on, on the, uh, on the YouTube search and it'll bring up, uh, um, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Oh, uh, to me, you keep getting an error 503, um, is that for the, uh, for what? It might be his computer. Oh. Because it wouldn't be from us. Yeah. I know, I think Tyler's been messaging me too. Oh, uh, they say they don't see my live. Um, Tyler doesn't. She's, they're, we're talking about um, trapping and eliminating pests. Uh, and different methods. And methods, the, you know. That's, I'm like I said, this is out of my air, my purview. <laughs> but I know some things about bigger pests, not little pests. And the first topic, part of the topic was poisons, and I have no clue in, under that. So I have heard about people using. Um, please forgive me if I re if I remember this wrong. Uh, sleeping pills for and uh, getting hogs. Oh. Yeah. No, that's that's just bad. That is just bad because you're not following the label, and uh, yeah, you're actually um, it's kind of expensive. I heard it happening. I never saw it happening, but I heard about it. Yeah, I have not heard about that happening, so I don't know. Basically, they were laying out bait traps and lacing it. Yeah. Uh, Mavea, how you doing? Um, that's uh, Mavia. Mavia, sorry. Ma. That's your Small mom. A. Ma, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jason's mom. Yeah, her, she says her cats are slackers. I know we've had some pretty good mousers in the past. I'm his friend from Iowa. Yes, we do play nice, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, like I said, those are going to be the other methods that we're going to be going through. But like I said, we're, we're going to go ahead and bring it back with uh, traps here. Apparently, Tyler's having troubles uh, getting into the uh, live stream. So it's okay, probably gonna be. 
Um, have you tried sending it the link through Facebook? Yes, I did put it through Facebook. And I also put it through um, Instagram. Mm, what about mm -hmm. um, email? Uh, I did not send it to him via email. That's Usually uh, he just pops in on here and they can uh, uh, pop in through the chat. Oh, um, through instant message through your phone. Oh, I sent him a text message. That's how we've been communicating. Okay, so yeah, maybe that might be. I have no idea. Okay. Let me hear it. I'm sorry, I, I butchered your name, Olivia. Please forgive me. I'm trying to figure okay. out what. Hardly anybody can say it correctly the first time. No, no. I'm just trying to figure out <laughs> where does it come from. I'm, I'm interested in the, in the name itself. So that's just. So where's the? the... It came from my grandma. That's all I know. <laughs> what, what is it? What nationality is it? Honestly, I don't know. Um, it's really pretty. It just is... mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead. We're going to get back to, to the traps and stuff. Uh, like Sorry. I said, I actually... Yeah. I actually prefer the T-Rexes, which is from uh, um, Bell Industries. Uh, these ones I have here are the, are the Tomcats. I have the T-Rexes for the uh, rat traps, and they are far, far stronger. Uh, these are the easy sets here. Um, like I said, they really don't hurt. The rat they traps, should. they will hurt. Yes. I just heard shotguns. You hear that? Four. Are they? That's in town. Shotguns. Wow. That's not common. No, it's not. There's... Somebody's setting off fireworks. No, that's not fireworks. Too. I know shotgun sh blast when I hear it. There's like five oh. or six shotgun rounds. They're, they're still going. No. Yeah. Please forgive me. I mean, that's. If I need to duck and cover, I want to know. I mean, whether I'm yeah. Shoot well, I mean, I got to respond to Tyler here. It's too late to be hunting. Hi, Taylor. Unless somebody's uh, going after pest rabbits or no, something no, one else. Hour, one half hour after sundown. Yeah. And it's way uh, well, It could be PD going after the two-legged pest. Who knows? Shotguns? Yeah. Ah, thank you. Okay. Well, anyways, like I said, I got Sorry. lots of these. These are great just for having around, you know, already. They'll, they'll always be there wait, waiting for you, you know, waiting for the mouse to cross them. And what I do is, like I said, I have these boxes here. I've got a hole on either end. Okay. And I was actually using that for, uh, for ants, actually, earlier, because I got a cotton ball and a cap in there that has some uh, um, boric acid in there so the cat can't get to it. Because we all know the cats are extra sensitive to toxins. And a lot of people don't know that. Well, anyways, like I said, you can get these online. You buy these by the dozen. Um, cost, I have no idea what they are now. And Ajax finally made it. Uh, like I said, in, or you can actually make your own using a tissue box. Last thing is with the tissue box is what you're going to do is, I'm going to set that one aside and use this one as an example here. Because then you guys can actually see it on the inside here on how how and where to set them. As you can see, it's just a little, there's nothing in the box. Sorry, guys, magic trick. And what you're going to do is when the box is open, you're going to take the trap and you're going to place it right there. Okay. There's the opening where you can see it. And when you set the trap open, it opens up here. And you just set the trap. Okay. So when the mouse comes in, because you're going to put some uh, some kind of um, sunflower seeds, bird food, anything like that. Peanut butter. Then, no, actually, use grain. 
uh, the peanut butter will go rancid, and they actually will refuse it after uh, a couple days. If you put in uh, sunflower seeds, bird seed, it'll actually sit honey. there for uh, for um, a couple of weeks. What about honey? If, uh, honey, uh, you can. It's kind of messy. Uh, not you might honey get ants. Not so bad. Yeah, but you'll actually can get ants because ants actually look for honey. Oh yeah, because it's sweet. So yeah, so when you go ahead and you put your trap in there, you'll put one on uh, either side at both entrances. Okay, so we're not going to quite set it yet. So uh, what you do is you put your uh, your bait in here. Here, uh, basically your your bird food is the easiest way you can get those in many different uh, packages. I like using the um, the black sunflower seeds. And then when you get to your spot where you can set this trap, you're going to set it along the wall right here. So we're going to say this is going to be your wall, and you actually put it up against the wall. And when you put it on the floor, you're actually going to push down, and your traps are set. It's just that easy. And then you take the box, and you just close it up. I would be so stupid with those things. You know what I would do with those, Jason? Just because I'm weird, uh -huh. I put googly eyes on them just because. Oh yeah, but yeah. <laughs> if you're but gonna yeah, call um, T Rexes, like, I'm gonna put T Rex eyes on them. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, these ones are the from from Tomcat. Uh, the T Rexes have far more um, biting power, as you might want to say, and the little teeth are a little bit more aggressive. Uh, and like I said, once you actually catch a mouse or a rat in your traps, don't throw away the trap. Because now that smell of that targeted animal is on here. Rats and mice are very, very curious animals. They want to know what happened to their buddies. And they're going to fall into the same trick. Okay. So basically you have your, your, your gloves. Okay. Then you just pull it up and then you go over to the trash can. You got your mouse in there. Uh, you take your mouse, you take it over the trash can, and you just go. And you're done. The mouse trap will catch again and again and again and again. A lot of people will actually throw away their mouse traps because they don't want to touch the mouse. Um, and then. They wonder why they can't catch any more mice. Because they, they kind of get wised up. They're, they're actually quite smart, believe it or not. Rats are the smartest. Uh, you do have to change up traps. Uh, you're going to have to get several different types of traps. The good old uh, snap traps actually work very, very well. I just prefer the T-Rexes. And if you keep it in a box and you keep it secluded so we're... Another mouse or rat cannot come along and see exactly what has happened. Um, they will keep falling for the same uh, trap over and over again. And believe it or not, pets make, or excuse me, rats make perfect pets. Believe it or not, they're actually very smart. Not the wild ones, but the tame ones that you get at the store. Uh, and usually, the smell of rats inside of a home will actually deter mice from being in the home as well. Doesn't necessarily mean they won't be there, but yes, it does help. Uh, like I said, they do have uh, pheromones that you can use for baits as well. They're a little on the expensive side. It's like a little gel. Uh, Bell Industry makes them. Uh, those are the ones that I would use. Uh, but a lot of times I just end up using dog food, cat food. I would use um, egg corns, peanuts, um, sunflower seeds. Something that they really want. Yes, they do. That's because they don't have a sphincter on their um, on their uh, bladder, Timmy. Yeah, Timmy was asking. Uh, rats pee everywhere. Yeah, so do mice too as well. Yeah, see, like I said, they, they will cohabitate to each other, but usually they, they will not. Uh, that means there must be a lot of food source there. Uh Let's see, put those back down in here. Uh, like I said, I have actually had to go unconventional on um, one rat because it was smart enough to evade me. 
and I actually had to use a foothold trap to actually catch it. It was that big. It would get itself out of the traps, out of the T-Rexes. What was it again? A rat um, would, would set off my T-Rexes and get out. It was big enough where um, the T-Rex was too small. It wouldn't hold. I mean, I've it was a good size rat. rat. I've seen mm -hmm. some big rats. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to show that one on here because uh, I don't know if that would be YouTube friendly or not. Probably not. Yes, I yeah, like I said, it was heavy enough where it set off a Duke 1.5. It was that wow. big of a rat. Yes. And again, I tried peanut butter with it. Everything else would not go for it. As soon as I put out the, uh, the sunflower seeds, I had it. Ooh, that's like... Okay. Uh, no. Yeah, hunting licenses, so bear with me here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it could be shelter, Amanda. Yeah. Amanda's saying that she's got the mice and the uh, rats living together. It could be just the shelter. Is there food outside, leaves, gardens, um, any kind of stuff like that? They, they can survive. They can survive off of the, uh, off the glue off of your uh, wallpaper, believe it or not, if they had to. And particle board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's pretty amazing what they will resort to for survival. Uh, like I said, uh, like I said, they, they got, like I said, um, Sean Woods is the gentleman I'm talking about. You go to his channel. Uh, shout out for him. Uh, he has a, a big old giant collection of uh, mouse traps he's collected over the year. He's got over a thousand videos. He's been on YouTube for an awfully long time. So, like I said, he'll actually show you where you know where are good places to place uh, the traps. A good place to place traps, if you don't have any animals in the house, you can have the traps out in the open. Okay, so you can put them on the on either side of the door jams, because remember they want to run along the edge of a wall. That's where they feel safe. They're up against the wall. Nothing can get them on that side, and they're keeping an eye out to the open areas as they're running along the walls. They will scurry across the middle of a room. They will, but they'll be in in uh, high speed mode when they when they cross the floor. They will literally run from one end of the room to the other across the middle of the room. But when they're along the edge of the walls, they are traveling a lot slower. They're looking. They're being cautious. Um, uh, and remember, if you if you're going to be trapping outside uh, with these traps. You gotta remember you gotta keep them inside of a locked box so no animals can get to it, no kids can get to them. Okay, no animal, you know, you don't want your dog walking over there, lifting it up with the nose, sticking their nose in the trap and getting uh, snapped on the nose. Uh, same thing with a cat. Uh, except if it's a small cat, yeah, then it could be a problem. Uh, or that like I said, off with her rat trap and it poof, it's gone. Uh, yes, I've actually managed to get one of mine back because of that, believe it or not. Uh, that's why you got to actually get, get it on a piece of wood, and you can actually screw them down. They actually have holes in them, or you can get a small little wire, put it on the back side, anywhere where you can get it to go through. Like I said, you can go through here. Uh, you can actually glue it down to a piece of wood. Uh, which will actually work. Um, like I said, basically, you really kind of want to keep it in a, in a box if you can, where it can't get out of the uh, the trap or the box. Uh, Bell Industries makes pretty good boxes out there because they can actually put the bait or the traps in them. Hey, Jason. Sorry for interrupting, yes. but I'm, I've got a birthday wish from Mandy. Oh. Where she's at, it's my birthday already. Oh, yeah, she can do that. Yes. Yeah. I am not until tomorrow for here, yeah. but he's already on the 22nd. So thank you, Mandy. Yeah. And for those people who are wondering, I'll be 55 as of tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. And a shout out for uh, Ken Cage Channel. Uh, for all those who uh, are here today, uh, you can go back and you can actually go back to one of his channels there. Let's. Uh, Go ahead and uh, get a uh, 
a uh, shout out for you there. Thank you. Yeah, go um, go ahead. Put your link in. Give me a second. Are I'm you gonna are you allow them to go back and uh, comment yes. and put a number in? Okay. Yes, I will allow that. They got until tomorrow uh, live. Six o'clock or live until the live seven, starts. Start no, it starts at seven thirty. Mm -hmm. Half an hour before. All right, then I'll, before the first drawing. So I'll be oh, if they don't if they want to know what I'm giving away, it'll say in the previous videos. If not, I can mm -hmm. do it, it with you know his permission. Yeah, we can we, we we can do it towards the end. Um, okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah, so a big shout out there. He's yeah, he's he's okay. A little spoiler alert. He's giving away three of them. I'm not in it because I already have one. But your wife is. And I'm also helping. Yes, my wife is. <laughs> yeah. Cliffy. Yep. Hey, hey, Rob. Hey, how you doing? Hi, Rob. How you doing? You cannot pick right. every number between one and seventy-five, Rob. I've already told you that. <laughs> I've got a list. You can't beat my list. Yeah. But there's still some people who have not entered. I saw them in your. Uh, Trapper J is one of them, if he doesn't already yes. have one. And uh, who else was in here? Uh, PA is, hasn't entered yet either. Yeah. Well, I said they got till tomorrow till uh, live, you time you go live. That's when the polls yeah. close. So a little bit of a shout out there. Thank you. I and, really appreciate yes. it. Yes, and I'm giving away stuff on my birthday. Yep. But if you guys want to send me something, I could use arrows, you know, just to say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so and and uh, to get back on track here um Sorry. you also have um, to be careful when you're setting your traps outside because you can be held liable on that too as well um like i said the the traps don't discriminate folks you can have that you know the yellow spotted woodpecker that's an endangered species and if you get caught with it in your trap yeah you are responsible for its death. Okay, because unconventional traps for mice and rats. The the beer can traps. one I told you, I, you know, you've heard. Oh about. yes, mm -hmm. the single one, and then there's the V rolling type I've seen. The rolling log of death. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, that's gonna be considered into the traps, not other means, because it is a trap. Uh, that's, that's basically they yeah. You can use they can't almost check anything. Out. You got it. Yeah, uh, that's how you can catch multiple mice uh, without having to do a reset. Uh, they also have the um, there's the, a, the A24 from Australia. Those things are a little bit expensive. They work off of uh, CO2, uh, little cartridges. Uh, you can actually um, make a jig for it. You can set it down and where they actually have to climb up and up the 2x4. Um, the to go up there and get it to smell the Nutella that they put in there. By the way, yes, that's is what it is in there. Um, and then that they trigger it, and a uh, hammer uh, pops out from the CO2, hits them on the head, uh, smashes their um, their their cranial noggin. cavity, <laughs> yeah, the noggin, and it, it kills them instantly. And it actually resets. You can get 24 hits with that. So, you know, you have it, you know, a foot off the ground where they got to go up in there and get it. It drops down. Uh, you can have it uh, fall into a bucket if you want to. Um, so all you have to do is just, you know, empty the small little trash bag you have in your five-gallon bucket to get rid of them that way. Uh, like I said, it is, I don't know how much they are now due to inflation, but they are kind of pricey with those. Uh, yes, I see Mandy needs like 30 of them. Yeah, she's... She was fascinated by that when I told her to look up that uh, that A24, and they also have one now for uh, rats, a little bit bigger, uh, and yes, it is powerful enough to do squirrels. So you got, like I said, you got to be careful with your target animals. Uh, placement sometimes is the key. Um, like if it's inside your, your chicken coop, I would probably put it in an area where the chickens cannot get to it in any way um same thing with uh you got to try and keep the squirrels out um especially if it's not squirrel season that's not your intended target 
and also as a um, a game animal. So in some areas, now nah, they don't care, depending on the species of squirrel. Uh, like I said, if it's a ground squirrel in certain areas of the country, yeah, it's yeah, it's any means necessary to help get rid of them because they're so bad. They're uh, overpopulated. Um, they're spreading uh, certain diseases around and also spreading it with uh, um, cattle and um, sheep and stuff like that. So, yes, they can carry quite a few diseases. Uh, and so also going back to the regular... Oh, no. Am I back? I did a quick little buffer there. You're good. All of us, yeah. All of a sudden, my uh, there we go. Okay, my my Wi-Fi is coming back now. Oh, good. Um, Ajax, it'll be, tomorrow it will be um, Colin tomorrow, Kincaid yeah. Outdoors. He will yeah. be going live tomorrow. I'll be starting at half an hour earlier than my normal. Why? Mm -hmm. Due to the fact to get people enough time to get in, and I'll be doing my first drawing at eight o'clock. My second one at nine o'clock, and my last one at ten o'clock. Before ten. Before ten. Before ten. Before because I'm yes. clocking out for myself because I've got to get some sleep. Mm. But like I said, if you guys want to give me a present for my birthday, that'd be great. <laughs> I'd yeah. be happy with that. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Uh, who else is all in? Yeah, whoever's in here, go ahead. Uh, put something in the chat. Um, you just don't have to sit there and just lurk, you know. Um, um, I'll try to answer questions as best I can. Uh, if I catch it enough, uh, Colin will help me catch them if I can. If I cannot, okay. Yes, Rob. You can, might be my, if yeah. you're not here, but your name, your number is polled, you can mm. win. In your case, yeah. if you do win, I can give yours to you personally on Saturday at the Outdoor Expo. Because I'll be seeing Rob on sa Saturday. Hopefully. Yeah, uh, no need to be present to win. Uh, you will have, what, 72 hours to claim? I'm going to give a week. A week? Be on the stage. One week. Okay. One week. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to have the same problems we did before where it's been several months. Yeah. Well, I want to make sure we ha I have viable addresses. Um, so I can mail them to you unless they're personally, you know, like I said, unless Rob wins one, which is entirely probable. There's a three chance, um, you know, you get one, you know, three chances. So actually I got a question from Ajax there. Who's hunting deer early? Uh, already, that would be said already. already? Okay. Said. All right. I'm sorry. I saw it said early for some other reason. I only caught it out of the corner of my eye. Okay, never mind. Early is actually about, part of the word. It's just a shorter version yeah, of it. Yeah, it's called poaching. <laughs> well, let me, let me, uh, I'm actually looking at the deer licenses right now. Yeah. I'm actually on the Iowa DNR, DNR website. Uh, let me take a look. Uh, let's see here. Hunting. Oh, let me get readjusted okay. here. I've been sitting a little bit too long. Oh. Let me see here. Technically, technically, if the youth season started on the 17th here in Iowa, mm -hmm. so it is not legal to hunt. It's not illegal to hunt deer. Uh, deer Ian could get into it right now. Yeah. I don't get to start until um, the 1st. So... I've got time. Get those over there and out of the way. Get these prepared here. Um, yeah, like I said, what I was saying here with the traps is that, uh, yeah, the traps don't discriminate what gets in them. Something triggers it, it closes. Uh, same thing with the um, with the uh, the live uh, cage traps. Something goes in there, triggers it. It could be your neighbor's cat. It could be your cat. It can be a squirrel. It can be a skunk. A non-target animal. If it's a non-target animal, you got to release it. And then a lot of times, um, sometimes you will have to call somebody to come and get it because it is illegal to dispatch them at that particular time. 
and, and so, be careful because please, some of you might get maybe like a skunk or something. Yes, that would be very well, bad. It would only be bad for a couple of weeks. Now, if you're in places like you know southern Texas, uh, southern Arizona. They do have a um, ring-tailed cat. You catch that, you're kind of in big trouble. Because <laughs> those are protected. Anything protected, you can get in trouble. I know it's it's an animal that went in there. It's not a non-target animal. It's a, um, a protected species. But yeah, but if you're, if you're not checking your... Tra oh, by the way, in, you do have to check your traps daily. I mean, Sometimes daily. twice a day. Sometimes yes. twice a day. Yes, you have to check them twice, uh, at least once a day. They have to be checked. Uh, even in the pest control industry, we did have to check them every day. Like I said, when it was my weekends, when I didn't work weekends, I would have to pull all my traps on my last day of the work week and then go and reset them all again Monday morning. Yep, even the ones I had underground for, for gophers, uh, squirrels, everything else. I actually had to go and pull all those traps for over the weekend. Didn't matter where they were. You know, it's the same as when you're trapping for fur bearing uh, animals. You have to check your traps daily. If you cannot check that trap daily, let's just set it off, leave it buried. Okay? You can always come back, reset it for, for the next uh, outing. But for me, I had to actually pull all the traps. Uh, in Iowa, if you're going to be trapping for just for trapping sake, uh, mm -hmm. they do have to have licenses, licensed traps. Yeah. You, have to, you have to have their names mm -hmm. on them. You just can't put traps yeah. out randomly. You have to have a license. Yeah. So be yeah. careful. Yeah. Mine said the uh, the city of blank on it. <laughs> oh, yours was, I mean, I'm talking about for civilian wise. I'm looking at. Yeah, the, yes, for uh, civilians, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm looking yeah, at they, all, they all knew I, I had stuff out all the time. I was never bothered by them. I knew, you know, they knew I would. I knew what I was doing. Let's see, where's the hunting one? Uh, trapping. Okay. Yeah. Day off. Okay, we can yeah. do raccoon, possum, badger. Badger. Yeah. We have badger. Striped skunk. And badgers. Both. Badgers. Yes. We, don't we don't need no stinking badgers. <laughs> Jenny just Sorry, did the I same exact myself. joke. Uh, <laughs> Jenny yeah. did the same exact joke. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know we had badgers. Um, but yeah. Wow. Tyler just had to um, um, scare off a coyote. I see that. Again. Again, uh, another type of pest. When they get in the large numbers, they get into the um, populated areas. Um, like I said, anything smaller than them, excuse me, smaller than them are food. Remember so it'll be your little food. Shih Tzu or your little uh, Chihuahua. It's food. Cats. Oh, it was chase. Oh, it was chasing him. Wow. Would pepper spray work That's, on them? Uh, yes. However, you can be dinged for animal cruelty for it too, as well. It's, it's a two-edged it's a it's a two-edged sword yes i know it's it's stupid yes i know yeah they're just yeah oh yeah yeah maddie says uh, pew it to the ground if we need to <laughs> yes uh like i said uh along with traps uh there's so many different types of traps out there um well, well, life cages, cages will work. Um, there's only one bad problem with the uh, the little mouse live traps. Everybody thinks, oh, I can just trap that little mouse, take it out to the edge of the property, and release it. Uh, the, mice, the mouse will actually beat you back to the house. We have open season on gr groundhogs here, coyotes, mm -hmm. and give me a second. I'm just trying to remember. Yeah. Uh, or what was the other one? Uh, pigeons. Yeah, actually, pigeons don't belong here in North America. It's actually European. 
I think By they the way, brought them in to use for dove hunting or something like that, I and mean, it just didn't. Messages. Messengers. Uh, and in case anybody is wondering, and yes, they, 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 another name for a pigeon when you eat it. Yes. It's actually part of the dove family. You just get a bigger piece of meat. Don't eat the ones in the city, guys. Eat the ones that are out in the wild. And they, yes. there are actually quite a few here in Iowa because we have a lot of mm -hmm. corn all over the state. And soybeans yeah. uh, and what have you. you. You'll find them out now, everywhere. I got a question there for Rob. Or Rob has a question that says, we can't trap them. Is there a reason why you cannot trap them? Because they do have pigeon traps. Um, I'm not sure. Even though it says it's continuous open season. Well, I know uh, some cities will not allow you to trap certain pests for some, some, for some odd reason. I don't know why. Something must have totally gone wrong or... Um, tree hugger someone who grew up watching Disney thinking that while the animals have got to be their friends I know I keep bringing it up but it's true I'm checking oh he can't trap beavers I thought he was talking about pigeons yeah beavers actually you know, actually give me a second and yes beavers are a pest we don't have beaver listed on my list. No beaver. Actually, there is a season for hunting trapping beaver. There is. Yeah, it should be coming. Should be one coming up here real close. November fifth uh, through 15th? Uh, April fifteenth. No limit on daily yeah. possession or daily or possession limit on beaver. Yeah. Trapping yeah. fur trapping. You can you can trap beaver. Oh yeah. Almost forgot the most inhumane trap of all. Thank you, Mom. Nope, no, the sticky trap for the mice. Oh. Oh, yes. They get caught on there. Those mice do have a pair of lungs on them, and they will scream. Like rabbits. Mm-hmm. Yes. They will scream. You'll feel bad for them. You're peeling them off. And then all of a sudden, they just run away. In a couple days, they get all that junk off of them. Hey, yeah. Hey, At, how you doing? Yes, At. Hey, oh yeah, another shout out for another channel, folks. For the coffee lovers, please go over to All Terrain Coffee and Camping. Watch a couple of his videos, please. He's got different methods of uh, of brewing coffee. Oh, I actually have something I want to show him and anybody else yeah. who's interested. Well, uh, I'll, I'll get his I'll, I'll get his link real quick. Yeah. I'll post that. But I'm going ahead. I'm throwing my link up again. So if anybody wants to come up and join, they can. Okay. There is uh, All Terrain's uh, link. Yeah. By the way, this one here is just because we were talking about it last night on my coffee break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got. Okay. Um, Jason, am I forgetting? Yes. Okay. Remember, I was discussing this this cup here. Yeah. I found the blank versions of these, and where to get them. Oh, awesome! Oh, you, really? Yeah. I, I just need to get some stencils. In, I just posted okay. it in the in the in the in the chat. Uh, less than twenty bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Uh. Uh. Okay, I'm, I'm you, trying to think of. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of any of the other traps that I might have forgotten besides the live traps, um, the the death traps. Like I said, anything that deals with the trap that kills it within its little zone or captures it live, it is considered a trap. Alrighty, and that's probably that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Now we're gonna go to the other memes of. Uh, excuse me, I should say other methods. I have one. I looked it up earlier. And it's the ratapult. The ratapult? <laughs> I don't know if I would I don't know if I would call that one a trap. No, it is a trap. 
It is actually because it's a humane trap from what it is. It was designed in 1995, and it basically it launches the rat via air into a container alive. But it, it keeps on launching them over and over again. I looked it up. So the ratapult is a thing. A ratapult, yeah. Okay, now well, I said we figure we're going to the other methods. Now the other methods are considered your um, your cats, your dogs. Those are other methods of um, vermin control. Those they'll go after rats, mice, squirrels, you know, skunks, raccoons. They'll go after them. Ferrets and, will go yeah. after them too. Yes, you know, ferrets. You know, you, that's going to be part of your other methods of control. Mm -hmm. uh, you can actually have a pet snake. Have it go in the wall, eat the mice, and be stuck in there until it gets thin again. Because um, <laughs> I've actually seen that happen where they actually put a snake in a wall and all the mice come running out. Yeah, I've seen that in, one. Yeah. In, in, into a cage, yes. I've seen that one. I, I saw that one and I just, I just laughed. But yeah. It um, yes, it did. Uh, like I said, there's other means. Uh, like I said, uh, we got the mechanical means where uh, we ourselves are the method of control. This is the one that I really like <laughs> because I know I got it right then, right there. I know I got the correct target of the animal I am actually trying to get rid of. That's what you have so, pictures of on your Instagram. Yes, I do. I have all kinds of pictures on that on Instagram. Uh, some of them are not pretty. But like I said, a lot of it was done very, very quickly. Some of them were not because it had to wait for me to come and check it, my traps in the morning. So, like I said, I prefer the other methods. I do have some of those here I would like to show and go ahead and show everybody. I know most of my uh, folks here are going to be outdoorsmen. They will agree with me. But for perfect for mice and rats, believe it or not, is an air pistol. Well, if you're sitting there on your back patio, you're sitting inside, like like I sit in my side of my shop, in the evenings, wind down, um, even inside of a house, if you can, if you have a cat or a dog, and you have a dish of water and food there, that is where it's going to go and get its food and water. Your home is already a shelter. It's already, mice are going to be more likely are going to be already there. You won't see them until you see evidence of uh, them being there. And a black light is one way to tell if you have pest or not. You get a good black light or a UV light. You go around, walk your corners around your doors and along the edges of the walls. If you see some kind of uh, glowing, it's usually going to be their urine will actually glow with the black light. Uh, depending on where you go, I mean, like in down in Texas, or it's either uh, might be uh, New Mexico. Watch out for scorpions; they glow. In the oh dark. yes, they oh glow yes, in the dark as well. And you can actually get different um, colored uh, disc as well, so you can actually find different insects. Believe it or not, they will show up with UV light with a different cover. Just to change sure the, uh, the the filter, uh, yeah, you should be able to spot like uh, oh the scorpions. Oh no, they they bright blue, uh, like a um, whitish blue color, okay, um, or, or or a yellow color. It all depends oh. on how far you are away from it. I did find out something really interesting. Please, it's not so far off topic, but it's about UV lights. Okay, have anybody else seen Phineas and Ferb? I've seen them, but I really don't watch them. I understand this. There's a reason for it. They show Perry the platypus as green. Right? Mm -hmm. If you look at a, a real platypus under UV light, guess what color he is? Green. Green. I thought just, just a UV light thing. Sorry. <laughs> Please forgive this me is, on that one. This is true, Timmy. Yes, even Not we leave here. stuff behind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, anyways... When you use that black light, you can actually find out, you know, where they're running. You know when they're running, when you see, starting to see little discolored um, dirt marks, 
dust marks along the edges of the walls, especially right by where the doors are. Where they're sneaking underneath the door, when they're brushing their the oily fur up against the uh, the walls, the um, um, no, against the, uh, the baseboards, the door jam of along the baseboards. Yes, yes. So yeah, the oil off their fur will rub off, and you'll start getting that that dirty rub mark everywhere. Um, that's when you know you've got they've been there for quite a while or an ATM light. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that's that's a couple of telltales tell telltale sounds that yes, they are already there. And not only that, you also see their droppings too as well. Um, this is where a game camera also comes in handy as well. Because then you, you can actually set it up on the on your on the dogs or the cat's food bowl at night. And every once in a while, just go ahead and, you know, look at it. Okay, it took pictures in the middle of the night. Let's take a look. And that's how you really know what you're dealing with. So when you know what you're dealing with, you can set a set protocol for either a mouse, rat, or squirrel, or anything else. Chupacabra. Yes, because squirrels can, yeah, um, squirrels will get into your house. No doubt, yeah, they will. We'll I've had a rat to everywhere. my house before when I was living mm -hmm. out in Monroe, and I yes. it was a big boar coon. I shot him with a fifty-five pound bow inside my attic. <laughs> it's either that or he yeah. gets to my boy. So yeah. he had no choice; he was going down. Yeah, yeah. So, like I said, um, like I said, you know, if you if you're on your patio, uh, you got your dog bowl outside. If you can, just just take the dog bowl in at night, both the water dish and the uh, dog dish. Take them in at night, you know, cover them up. The next morning, go ahead and put them out there. That'll also help keep them from coming on to your patio or trying to get into the house because they say, oh, there's food here. There's got to be some other food nearby. It, yeah, it's, 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 I've been going after them ever since I can actually remember as a little kid. I remember waking my mom up in the sleep. Mom, look, I got two mice in one trap. There, there's, my cat, <laughs> there's my mouse catcher right there. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got to plug this in. If I can find my uh, cord. Oh, there's my cord. Oh, don't want to drop that. What Sorry, guys. What stands for, guys? Oh. Um, it's a name brand of a scope. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got a um, infrared light which bounces off the whatever you're looking at. Camera picks it up. So it's well, a see in the. Thank you for coming. It's a. Yep, thank you for coming. It's a see in the dark camera. <laughs> oh. Yes, that they put into a scope, so uh, you can uh, get rid of pests at night, and other things that go bump in the night. Okay, I, I'm going to have to bow out myself because I need to put my Already. feet up. My legs are starting to swell. Uh, uh, okay. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow, 7.30, if you can make it then. I know some people yeah. are going to be running late. But I, all train said he'd be there, but he's got to do some soccer practice with his kids. Yeah. So please hope you can make it. Someone please take, take my place. He, need, he yeah. needs a co-host. <laughs> so be well love you brother love you everybody all right i've got to go all right have a good night. night be safe out there i'll do my best all righty and like i said along with some of those other uh methods of uh how we can control is uh when us as humans taking out the pest right there on the spot uh, such as using a uh, an air rifle, air pistol, we know exactly what the target is, and make sure it is as humane as possible. Uh, I do have a couple of um, 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 props here, as we might go ahead and say. I know they don't like this, but uh, yeah, they are unloaded. Um, they're totally safe right now, but you still treat them as your four basic rules. Okay. You know, don't point at anything you do not want to destroy. Keep your finger off the trigger. Watch your target and what is behind it. And always keep it pointed in a safe direction. 
So this is basically probably the, the most scariest one looking out of all of them is going to be the simple, very, very, very simple P17 from Beeman. This is a single stroke pneumatic. It is extremely accurate. Uh, I can hit those little uh, silhouette chickens, and I don't have any of them here right now. Uh, but yeah, a uh, little one inch by one inch little chicken. It's a metal silhouette target. Yeah, I can hit that at uh, 20, 25, 30 feet again and again and again. Um, and again, that is something you actually have to do upon yourself to make sure that you can actually use that correctly uh, and make sure you hit that target 10 out of 10 times constantly. Constantly practice with it. And remember, when you change distances, that point of impact is going to change with that. Uh, I practiced for quite a long time, believe it or not, shooting cockroaches with it uh, at different distances. I mean, that's how small of targets that you actually have to get, like with a mouse. But the mouse, they're fidgety, they're small. Uh, like I said, I had to remove, I got four out of five shots. I can't confirm on one of the shots if I actually hit it or not, but I think I pulled it. Um, or the dog came into the um, through the threshold of the door and scared it right as I was pulling the trigger on that uh, air rifle, or excuse me, the air pistol. And uh, uh, yeah, so it's, it's kind of really hard to say. I didn't have a camera on it at the time. There's happened to be three of them right there. I didn't have any gear with me. I didn't have a tripod, nothing. Now, the last two I got, I happened to have the camera rolling, and I did catch them on film. But it, it took about 15 minutes of them coming in and out, in and out for the dog food. <laughs> yes, yes. And you can take um, rats out at a distance with it. You don't have to be five feet away with that thing. Oh, oh, and by the way, um, mine just happens to like the... Uh, uh, RWS Hobbies. Okay. This one just happens to like them. Uh, good wad cutter. It does the job. Uh, so, yeah, it, it it does the job. I mean, they are rollover done right there. Uh, like I said, I do have another example over here. Uh, for those of you who have uh, backyards... Um, please make sure this is legal where you are at. Um, some cities do not allow um, a backyard range for air rifles. They don't have anything, anything projectile um, within city limits. So please be careful of where you are. Check your local laws. Okay, please just do that first. Oh, the destroyers, yeah. Um, like I said, um, that one there, it flies just slow enough with just enough power to stay stable and to do the job it needs that, that you need it to do. And they are accurate. <laughs> there you go. Ajax there. I'm going towards Tim. Um, like I said, uh, for those of you who have a backyard and you have a mouse and rat problem, Another way to take care of it is you can go down to your local hardware store. You're going to pick up uh, five uh, pavers. They're going to be one foot by one foot by two inches thick. Um, let's see if I can pull up a photo real quick here. Because uh, I know it's, uh, it's on one of my uh, past videos. Um, that's probably be, be about the lightest one I got there, so... Let's choose that one there. Uh, I got to figure out how to share it over onto StreamYard here. Uh, give me a few moments. Oh, 
Oh, no, don't want to do that. That'll kick me off. Um, I don't have an extra camera, extra video. I don't have that. Uh, no, nope, not there. Give me a few more moments. I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, well, um, where's my phone? I can do that. Like I said, uh, you guys can go back to my, um, my, uh, pellet trap, uh, for, uh, for mice. Um, I do have it there, so you guys can see it through there. But the, for those of you who are here now, uh, very, very simple. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to set up, uh, a couple of uh, bricks. You're going to have one on your bottom. Try and get it as level as possible. You're going to have your, your back side, your two sides, and your top. And what you want to do is you want to angle that um, those bricks in just a little bit, the pavers. So it kind of like funnels it in. And you want to set it up like so here that I have this here. Hopefully that's not going to be too uh, bad there. But yeah. As you can see there, that's with the flashlight on. And this is with the um, solar-powered uh, 30 lumens uh, stake light. There's just a simple one you get at a big box store. This one has to be uh, 30 lumens, and it's actually in a spotlight, not a floodlight. And yes, I can see this out from you know, almost 25 meters. So it, it's not hard to see at night, um, especially if you're going to be running a scope like this one here. Um, this is a very, very simple one here. Um, this is just a CO2 powered 177 with the, you can see it's got a six, uh, 56 millimeter lens on there. And it does go to 9 power. It is accurate. You can actually see it very well. I would love to have one that's got a little bit bigger ocular tube in there and let it just a little bit more light through. <laughs> and like I said, you know, sky's the limits on those things. That one there is you can probably pick up, I believe, right now. Uh, the QB 78S, I believe, for 120 right now. Out of the box, just make sure you you do your due diligence, clean the barrel, um, get it all cleaned up, get all the excess of uh, grease and gunk out of it. Uh, just make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure that barrel is squeaky clean. And run a tin of pellets through it first, please. You're going to go through a lot of CO2 doing that. That one gets an amazing amount of shots out of that. Like I said, it's 177. Perfect for pesting. I mean, absolutely perfect. Like I said, uh, when you shoot into that box, it all stays in there. Uh, and also on that video, you can actually see the silhouettes that it is knocking over and taking off of that pellet trap. That is actually that 177 right there out of the box. I did nothing to it except for add the scope and bipod to it. Alrighty. Uh, of course, you got the bigger ones with the ATNs on them. That thing is just so heavy right now. I don't want to reach over and pick it up. Uh, that's for like your um, your bigger problem pest uh, such as uh, your, your hogs. Um, when you're getting into something that big, that's when you need to go into a lot bigger piece of equipment to go ahead and remove. Uh, let's see. Uh, not only that, those things are a lot of fun too as well. Uh, they're a lot safer than everybody thinks they really are. But still, you still have to treat them as a firearm because they, they can do more than just harm you. Alrighty. Uh, you don't have to be scared of them. Uh, the small ones, they don't. 
Um, Ajax, I wish I could afford one right now. <laughs> I really wish I could. But like I said, uh, I do like the uh, panties. Um, I've only had troubles with one of them because I believe it dropped during when I was moving here. Um, it kind of got whacked a little bit. So I don't know if it was that or if it was um, if one of the um, um, one of the uh, things got bent on there. I don't know, but yeah, it just it just won't go all the way over to the right anymore. So yeah, I was on shooting on the left side of the crosshairs. It wouldn't go over to the right. So I said, okay, put that one aside. Got another one, put it on there. But yes, I, I think it got dropped. It's the only thing I can think of, and it bent a. Uh, it's a possibility it bent a. Uh, a scope mount. I don't know. You don't have to bend those things very much. You shouldn't be able to bend them in the first place, but if it gets dropped and it hits it on there, yeah, the scope ring is done. And possibly the scope. I don't know. So I just use that old scope just to look at the rain gauge and to see what's out in the yard. So yeah, don't cut them all. You know, I just can't use it on the rifle no more. But I can use it as, a, as something I can spot with. Yeah, that one there, I can actually, um, with that scope, I can actually see a mouse in that box at night with the light on, with that small little light on. It's only 30 lumens. I have no other ambient light for it. Oh, really, Mr. Ajax? Yes, Timmy, you got you. Uh, yeah, um, I got one of those two as well. Um, I I just don't like spinning the turrets. I really don't for some odd reason. I prefer hold over and under. Once I know where it's at, um, and I shoot it enough times at different distances, I know exactly where it's going. Yeah, I know he's teasing, isn't he? But Ajax, I already have one. I got a long time ago. But it's it's not a newer one. It's one of the older ones. And you know what? That thing knocks squirrels down so easy. Especially with those um, Hades pellets. I do like the Hades pellets. Those things are awesome uh, those work uh, wonderful on um rats too by the way because uh yeah i did have to shoot a rat inside of my shop that one was a little bit overdone i won't use that rifle again inside my shop again i prefer to have something that's gonna be lower powered you only need like eight foot pounds or lower um, eight pound, eight foot pounds would probably be the max I would use. Uh, probably inside of a um, medium to small shop. I'm talking, you know, a twenty-four by twenty-four foot shop. Yeah, I, I would not go any higher than that. And if you guys going to do that inside your shop, make sure you get it in an area again where you can't get a pass through on anything that you don't want broken or damaged just make sure it's in a contained area have them come into the area where it is safe for you to dispatch that uh said pest animal i.e mice rats squirrels within reason within season actually i should say within reason of the season so uh like i said our season starts here in a few weeks but it's not cold enough yet. I prefer it to be cold. Uh, that's ba uh, that's basically it. You just make sure you get your targeted pest species into a location where it is safe to go ahead and dispatch it. Um, when we're using the pellet air rifles or the pellet pistols, 
Okay, folks. Remember, you got the choice of what you get to dispatch. Okay. Traps and poisons do not discriminate. I I don't know how many times I have to say it, but they really don't. Anything that eats them or gets caught in them, they're done. It doesn't matter if it's your target species that you want to get rid of or not. It it doesn't know the difference. Okay? It eats it. It's 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 poisoned. It sets off the trap, it's dead or it's caught. Okay, the traps don't discriminate on what they catch. At least with us, we can say, okay, that is not the target animal I am after. It gets a free pass. Hi, Cecilia. How you doing? Cecilia, have you tried the trash can uh, trap yet? For your raccoon problem. Or is it, or is it possum problem? Yeah, Cecilia is having to deal with um, a number of pest animals, and where she lives, her hands are tied. Unfortunately, no, not yet. So it is, it is the raccoons, correct? Yeah, they're going to be a little bit smarter to, uh, to, uh, to deal with them. All right, Mr. Ajax, Tyler, you have a good night. And let's see. And oh, hold on. Yeah, we were we were talking about that earlier. Is uh, per the laws? Yeah, it's it's. Yeah, it, it like I said, your hands are tied. Yeah, so yeah, I have to feel so sorry for you, Cecilia. I really do. And you got neighbors too, huh? Maybe you need to have a friend come over with a uh, an aggressive dog. And it just happened. I'm suggesting things, you know, on the side, I guess I should say. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'll I'll message you on uh, Facebook a little bit later. I think I might have an idea for you. And it's quiet. It's not that hard. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. I'll message you a little bit here in a little bit. Alrighty. Uh, is anybody else having any questions of uh, of on uh, what's all um, besides checking your local laws, checking uh, you know what kind of traps, what kind of uh, methods uh, for certain species of pest animals that everybody's trying to get a hold of or get rid of? Um, like I said, there's there's always a way to help. Um, get rid of them if, if at all possible. So, uh, yeah, there's there, there's quiet ways. Uh, there's noisy ways. Um, prefer if you if if you were by the law, yes, try and stay within those laws. Uh, remember, if when using other means of. Uh, of getting ready to pass through uh, either the poisons or the traps. Remember, if you do get a non-pest or non-target species, and it is a protected species, you are, or somebody's pets, you are liable. Okay, just a lot of people don't really give that any thought. So I'm just figuring I'd just pass that along to everybody, saying, please be careful out there. Uh, yes, Timmy, I do believe those uh, 357 Bulldog would be too big for mice. Just make sure you're doing it outside. I'm trying to help people with 
sometimes inside their shop, inside, you know, on their patio, someplace close in the garden. Okay, hold on, I gotta read the uh, so is there. Yeah, that's what I would just, I'd be sending pictures and uh, videos and everything else to the city council and say, hey, you know what, I'll post it all over social media if you don't do anything about it. I'll go to the news. They're destroying uh, my property. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like I said, everybody, like I said, there's, there's, there's two things that makes me upset. Is I know Disney makes great films. The problem is they're teaching everybody that wild animals are their friends. Again, I saw another person um, get injured in Yellowstone by getting too close to a bison, a uh, buffalo. And yes, he was severely injured. Again, he was thinking just that. You know, wild animals are your friends. Disney said so. But yeah, um, but you don't see no disclaimer on the beginning of their film saying that. But yet, you know, here on YouTube, we have to say a disclaimer of this is a pest control video. Uh, if you do not like it, do not watch. Okay, we got to put all kinds of disclaimers. Uh, we got to use black and white. Um, you know, stuff, you know, the hide stuff or not show it at all. See, I, right now, some of it, I'm just not going to show. Uh, uh, even the, uh, the aftermath, I have Instagram for that. Uh, there's, there's stuff there I can still get away with a lot more than I can here on YouTube. Uh, another thing is a lot of people don't give credit for the animal being smart enough. Um, they said those... Those pest animals have been living with humans for many, 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 many years. Night, Mom. That, you know, they've adapted to us. They're training us for them. Yes, Timmy. Yes, I, yes, Timmy says, yes, the bison get over 2,000 pounds. Yes. So, yeah, uh, like I said, anim animals are smarter than a lot of people give them credit for. I, like I said, I was... I had to work for eight months to try and catch this last rat, that big rat I caught. And like I said, I had to go to different means on how to catch it. Uh, totally off the chart on how to catch it because it would uh, the T-Rexes wouldn't kill it. The, the rat was that big. Uh, I actually had to go to a leg hold to actually catch it for me. And then I had to actually dispatch it. Uh, when I found it that, that morning, I didn't like doing that because uh, I have no I have no idea it was since that mat, that rat was actually in the trap. That's one of some of the parts of trapping you just don't know. Uh, I prefer to have something not suffer. I want it as quickly as possible. That's another reason why I don't like using the poisons. Um, yes, it's a pest. It's a rat. It's a mouse. Uh, a lot of people say every one of them is, has to die, but they are part of the food chain. They don't all have to die. But yeah, when it's in your house, yes, you, you got to get rid of it. Uh, again, poisoning is anywhere from uh, 6 to 12 hours of uh, agony for the animal. Don't like it. Number two, you can actually get a secondary uh, kill when something eats that um, said target, like uh, your pet cat, your pet dog, neighbors' uh, pets, uh, wildlife can uh, go down there, grab that um, that uh, poisoned animal, and then die later on. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and then all, again with traps, you know, there's there's all, there's all kinds of there's benefits of it, and then there's the cons. Um, for me, with the poisons, I see far more 
cons than there are um, benefits or the pros and cons. Um, the traps, uh, yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot more pros with it. There are some cons with it. Um, same thing when we are using um, uh, tools for us when we have control. Yeah, uh, some of the stuff is expensive. Uh, once you get it, it's pretty cheap. Um, just make sure that you have something that can that it can do the job. Uh, just don't go. Please don't go down the Walmart and buy the Red Rider. No, don't. Please don't do that. Um, if you're going to be totally new to it, um, just make sure you practice and practice and practice with it. Um, bottle caps, uh, half inch washers, anything the size of a dime, you know, one inch by one inch little pieces of, uh, targets, uh, set up a, uh, an old spoon. Um, actually that'd be, yeah. If you're going to be using, uh, lead BBs, yes. Um, or excuse me, lead pellets. Yes. You can use spoons at. 25, 30 feet. Practice with that over and over and over again until you are super confident that you can hit that every time. Even with the, uh, with the brake barrel, those things are really hold sensitive. Um, believe it or not, the HPAs are still extremely hold sensitive. Um, anything that's that projectile is, is hold sensitive, but some more than others. Yeah, um, it'd be nice to get uh, Cecilia a, uh, a Conor Bear 220. Nice and quiet. Put it in a bucket. Nice and quiet. Well, anyways. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, like I said, how much time do I have left? Uh, I got like, geez, almost 20 minutes. Anybody else want to come on up, be on the panel? Yeah, you don't have to be scared. It's fine. I know some of you can't. Um, I'll put the link out again. I've uh, put it out several times. Yeah, but yeah, there's... There's also some other benefits of when we have control when, like I said, when I'm using the um, the air items, is there is actually a community of uh, folks wherever you are that are avid air gunners that we'd love to go to competitions. Um, they're actually fun to go to. Real good group of people. Um, I have not found any that will not help you if you need help. There's always somebody that there. Yeah, they might be a little bit of a smart ass in there. But yes, but no, they'll 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 help you. As long as you're, you know, upfront, honest, and a good person, and you're not like a um uh you know, um I hate to say it on here, but an asshole. So, yeah, somebody will help you in almost anything. Yeah, but I, I do know some 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 of those groups out there that are on Facebook, here on uh, on uh, YouTube and some other places, yeah. Um, there's there's actually groups of people that are, you know, like-minded and like to go and do some other stuff. Uh, like I said, you know, you got your camping groups. Yeah, you got your hunting groups, your fishing groups of types of people, RVing type, uh, cruise types, um, gardening types. Uh, cooking. I said I'm. I try and do as much as I can in there. I'm waiting for it to cool off here, so I can go out and do more stuff. Uh, like I said, uh, once it cools off, I might go ahead and move my live streams outside. When I go out there and I can just uh, cook every uh, Wednesday night. Uh, the sun is setting early enough, so I think it's what uh, seven fifteen ish somewhere in there is actually sunset. So I have to get some lights set up outside. So it's around my uh, my barbecue barbecue pit. 
Ah, uh, uh, mm hmm. Like I said, Cecilia, um, I'll talk to you on Facebook on that one. A little text back and forth on there. Um, go to my, uh, actually, yeah, go pick either one. There you go, right there. There's one solution right there. Yeah, um, we'll go over a couple uh, legalities of uh, what the uh, city is liable for and, and might not be liable for. Um, so we're gonna, I'll go over that with you real quick because that's a very touchy subject with uh, most municipalities. But I'll, I'll try and help you get around some of that. Okay, uh, with that said, uh, I hope everybody has a good evening. I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut it off short tonight. Nobody wants to come up. Um, any other kinds of uh, questions that somebody needs to be answered on different uh, types of, uh, of traps uh, that can be done, different kinds of uh, other methods? Um, and yeah, with insects, yeah, poison all day long. Just make sure it's all in a controlled area so you're not going to harm your beneficial insects trying to get rid of the non beneficial insects. There's a big balance there that you guys need, need to deal with. Like I said, my specialty when I was in pest control was not insects, it was actually vermin control. The only insects I really took care of were. Uh, uh, mosquitoes, ants, bees, and wasp. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like, oh, you might be in one of those cities. I'm sorry. I can't be picking on them. Uh, not on here. But yeah. Um, let's see, uh, let's see, uh, so I got no questions there. Anybody, anybody, anybody who's all still in the chat anyways, go ahead and, uh, type something and it looks like Timmy's about to ready to get off there. Um, like I said, Cecilia, I'll be getting off here shortly if I have no other questions. Uh, Yep. Okay. Uh, with that said, there are no questions. Uh, I guess uh, class is adjourned. Uh, everybody enjoy their weekend. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for next week. For next week, folks, um, do any suggestions? Uh, if anybody is watching this later on and they've made it through the entire uh, video, Please leave a comment if you want to have uh, a question answered. I will try to uh, do a uh, answer on the next program. I will write them down. So as soon as the, I start, I can answer the, some of those questions. Uh, I really want to get into that. So if anybody has any questions, I'll write them down You know, after the, uh, the live is ended. And throughout the week, people uh, go ahead and watch this. They can uh, leave a comment. I'll write it down. I'll put down an answer. And then when I come back up onto the live stream of the following week, I can answer it then. So everybody, if anybody has a, uh, a repetitive question about the same thing, it can. I only have to answer it one time. It's, it makes it a lot easier than typing everybody individually. Uh, like I said, I am a horrible typer. I, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I might be getting lucky to type like three words a minute. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Amanda, see you next time. Yeah, those uh, squealing things you plug in, no, don't work.
Uh, I wish they did, but unfortunately they do not. Yeah, they don't even really work with the mice. Alrighty, folks. Uh, for those of you, yes, I will be on uh, Kincaid's live tomorrow. Uh, apparently, I did not have any issues with the internet tonight, like I did last past few days. I hope I just didn't jinx myself. Uh, with that, uh, I bid everybody good night, and always remember: take it outside. You got to grow it, harvest it, catch it, clean it, cook it, and eat it, and share it at the potluck. Alright, folks. And with that, please be safe out there, and have a good night.